Hi guys, Steady Eddie here, this time taking a walk around the legendary historical city of Athens in Greece. Well, Athens is of course the capital, and I suppose when you can say that all cities everywhere really is historical in its own little way, but Athens more so than most. The name of Athens is synonymous with ancient Greek ruins, ancient history, and really quite a lovely Greek culture. It is of course the capital city. And what I'm going to do in this video is take a walk around just to show you what this city is like if you ever walk around. This area is called the Placher area. Placher. I don't know how you pronounce it, but if you want to pronounce it Placher or Placher, it's fine by me. And it is the old part of the city with not many cars. There, there are some some roads here where you do have to watch out for a car and a motorbike, but a lot of this area is pedestrianised and it's very charming and very cultural. So I'll tell you what this video is about. I've taken an hour-long walk through the Plaka area and beyond, through the market area and the shop and precinct pedestrianised areas and I've edited this video down significantly simply you know as Alfred Hitchcock once said about the movies it's where we go to see life with the dull bits cut out so what I've tried to do is I've shortened this video and I've cut out some of the uh, quieter side streets to give you an idea of what this what this place is all about now there are two ways of looking at this video if you were planning on visiting the city of Athens the first way of looking at it is that this may not be the ideal video for you and the second way of looking at it is that this may just be the perfect video for you and I'll explain exactly what I mean well what, what is this bloke doing here is he catching money for photos in his fancy dress Here's a little bit of trivial information for you. This ancient Greek soldier here, what they were actually called was hoplites in the olden way, these Greek warriors. So there you go, there is a genuine hoplite. He doesn't look 2,000 years old, does he? He's obviously posing for pictures, and I, you know, I don't know what the situation is. Does, does he get money for photos or whatever? Good luck to him anyway. If it makes him happy, and it makes the, the tourists happy, good for them. Okay, to get back to the reasons why this may or may not be the ideal video for you if you plan on visiting Athens. Well, first of all, the reasons why it may not be for you. If you were expecting a fully comprehensive guide to Athens and you want to know everything there is to know about the transport system, how to get around the city, the various areas of the city, all that you need to know about a big major city, capital city like Athens, then this is not for you because I haven't really covered any of that. So there you go. That's that one out of the uh, out of the equation. Careful, mate. You'll have someone's eye out with that javelin. Anyway, I will now go into the reasons why, if you plan on visiting the city of Athens, this could well be the perfect video for you. You see, before I came here, I heard a number of people commenting that about three days is enough for Athens and I don't really know fully what they meant by that but the fact is not everyone is a big fan of capital cities capital cities tend to be very very big and sprawling and they tend to have a lot of areas that look similar a lot of capital cities look look similar comes to think of it also a capital cities they tend to be more expensive, and one of the reasons that they're more expensive, other than the high prices, is that if you're staying in an area that's away from all the touristy stuff, away from all the action, it's going to cost you a lot of money to get around. And this is why this might be the ideal video for you if you plan on visiting Athens, but you want to get rid of all the hassle and the travel and the getting around that goes with it. You see, I've come to this city, and I was planning on planning on staying here for three days, perhaps.
but I've actually stayed there for the full six days, simply because I really like this area where I'm staying in, this Plaka area. I am actually staying in a hotel that is about 200 meters away from all of the action here. And basically, I, I, during the six days that I've stayed there, I haven't actually once used public transport. No buses, no taxis, no metro, no trams. I'm staying 200 meters away from my favorite little restaurant uh, uh, where this video began. So what do I need any public transport? So the thing that puts me off, personally off a lot of capital cities, is that if you stay in a cheap hotel that's in the suburbs, then it's gonna be cheaper than if you're staying in a hotel that's staying in the touristy areas. But then you're faced with the problem of having to get all this transport and whatever. I've cut all, all of that out. I'm staying in a reasonably priced hotel, about about 60 euros a night, which is about 200 meters away from the main Plaka area. And I haven't once had to use public transport, not on one single occasion. Another thing I want to mention about some of those hotels that are in other areas of Athens, I checked booking.com when I was uh, planning my hotel. and. Basic, basically, I, I tended to find a similar comment about a lot of those hotels. They, some of the hotels, you know, said they, they were close to the metro access. You know, fair enough. But some people commented that some of those hotels were in rather shady areas where the people didn't really feel safe at night time. So. You know, it, it, so what I'm saying basically, if you want to come to Athens and you want to cut out all that big city hassle uh, atmosphere out of a place, it's not, not everyone is a, is a fan of big cities, and you simply want to stay in an area which has got everything you need within walking distance, then this is ideal for you. Stay in an area that's close to the Plaka region, you may pay a few quid more, but then if everything's in walking distance, you'll save on public transport. And it's, I will say that this Clark area has been pleasant, very, very pleasant, very, very safe to walk around, even at the night time. No real hassle at all. Well, none that you can't see coming. And it's, it's, it's a charming place. I've really enjoyed my six days here. A lot of areas in Athens I haven't visited, but then I didn't really feel that I needed to. It's like staying in a nice little village within a city very very pleasant place anyway I think I'm leaving the Plaka area and now this is this is going to come into the main market and and shopping area Okay, so now we've reached a main shopping area of Athens. What can we talk about? Well, shopping, I suppose. There's shops here, you can buy trainers, you can buy lots of other things. There's plenty of shops. What I will say is that these these people outside the, sh outside the shops, these shop assistants, are not really that pushy. They're, they're, they're pretty good in some countries you go to. You know, they're, you know, they're trying to strike up a conversation and get you to come inside and all this. Uh, these are not really that pushy. They, these are okay, very, very laid back. And another thing that I will mention is that prices. Well, Greece is a European country, and, you know, European prices are not really that cheap, are they? So if you want to buy things here, whether it's T-shirts, training shoes, handbags, whatever you want to, want to purchase, they're not really going to be that great value. I'm not sure how they're going to compare to your own country because I'm not really a big fan of shopping personally. So, I suppose the question is, are you a big fan of shopping? Are you one of these people when you travel abroad, you, you want to hit the shops and the markets? You know, you get these people, don't you, who, who say, we love shopping. When we go abroad, it's usually couples, it's usually, you know, well, you know, let's just say couples. I won't say it's women, <laughs> because that would be taken the wrong way, but you do get these people who say, we love shopping. Well, what exactly are you shopping for? I mean, how much shopping can you buy? I mean, what can you buy here that you can't buy in your own country anyway? Uh, you know, 
so it's i mean i'm not a big fan of shopping i you know I, I maybe a couple of t-shirts here and there but i don't know i mean i, I you know shopping we, we love shopping i've never really understood that phrase i think you go to other countries simply because you want to go to another country don't you Okay, so I'm out of the Plaka area now, and now I enter another area, which is another very, very pleasant area. Look at these, look at these nice, charming people. Uh, you know, having a nice, nice, quiet afternoon dine outdoors, pavement cafes, tons of graffiti around. I, I, I don't know what that's all about. But this is a really charming environment, and it's if you only have to walk through it to see what a, really a nice lifestyle it is here. Of course, they've got the weather here, which helps. You know, this is this is coming up to the end of September here, and and it's you know they're sitting outside, and it's it's yeah yeah they've got the weather that always helps. You can see how cultural this place is. It's you know the the Greek people there seem to me to be very very laid back and probably hard work and you know they, a lot of them work long hours makes you wonder like these people sitting there what they actually do what, what is their day job do they work in offices or or whatever but it's a very very nice pleasant culture here and they're a very they're a very pleasant race of people i've found since i've been here i've been in crete and here in athens in this this nice place in athens very very nice culture the, 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 the women here dress in a very, very glamorous way. Maybe some English uh, girls would regard them as the ones here as being old-fashioned in the dress sense, but it seems to suit them. I mean, they, uh, yeah, they're a very glamorous race of people. Good-looking race of people. Anyway, what are we coming up to here? This looks very, very curious. What the hell is this? Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Well, it's late September. Well, it's at the end of September. But these Halloween teams full in swing here. That is a very over-the-top Halloween celebration if ever I've seen one. Wow, they've really gone overboard with that one. Looks damn fine. Looks absolutely terrific if you like that sort of thing. Halloween, of course, end of October, about a month away. Wow, it looks, it looks kind of spectacular. I like it. Attention to detail. Well, if you're a fan of Halloween, this is the place to be. Let's have a little look. Some of these bars, by the way, they, they require you to have uh, evidence of your double vaccination. I did find that with one of the well-known bars in in, in Plaka, Central Square. So make sure you've got evidence of being double vaccinated. And the Halloween celebrations don't end there. Wow, they're really going over the top. There must be a big thing here. Well, I like it. I like it. Looks cool. And there's something else here now. I mean, what is this? Is this an area with theme pubs or theme bars or or something? What is this? Oh, is that a bar? That's that's a theatre. That is. Let's have a look at the facade. King's Theatre. There you go. London, New York, Eiffel Tower up there. Well, it looks nice. Nice facade. It looks like a lot of fun. I mean, if you're going to have a, you know, a building like that, a theatre, then at least make it look a bit, you know, like it's got a fun element about it. Well, as you can see, I mean, you know, there's there's plenty of people that we're still, but we're still in the old pandemic Antirus sort of area era here. We're not out of the woods yet. But this is a lively area. This is a sunny afternoon in, at the end of September, a weekday afternoon. And there's plenty going on. Seems to have no shortage of customers around here. So by now, I haven't really mentioned anything about the price of food and drink here. 
Well, it's quite reasonable. I mean, Greece is is a country which used to have a currency called the drachma, dreadful, dreadful sounding uh, name. But when they got that euro, obviously some years back, everything went more expensive. But the fact is that is this area really expensive? Well, I wouldn't say so. I mean, for food and drink in in a tourist area like Plaka. I've I've drank beer. I've I've ate restaurant meals there, and I think really the key is about finding your favourite restaurants where you're going to get better value than another one. If you go back to right at the start of this video, I did actually show you uh, a place where they have a happy hour from fr from uh, three thirty in the afternoon all the way to nine thirty in the evening, where you will get better value beer, wine and food than you will elsewhere in that same square so the price of food and drink it's it's not cheap but it, it's not particularly bad either you know you can get a nice a, a nice meal for maybe 10 or 15 euros and then the cost of alcohol a pint of beer varies you may pay four or maybe maybe five euros in some of the bars in, in, in the placard area but like I say with the happy hour in, in that particular restaurant, go back to the start of this video to see the one that I mean. Uh, you, you know, you will get far, far better value, as well as getting a lovely, large, chilled glass of white wine for 150 euros. Now, that's cheap. Okay, so of course, over there, you were looking at the historical, well famous Acropolis. It's, I've actually taken a walk up there, it is on another video. It's well worth it, one of the famous wonders of the world. Oh, oh well, the actual wonders of the world are obviously a bit controversial because everyone's got their own opinion about the wonders of the world. But the Acropolis is well worth a visit. So now I think I'm going back into, the, you know, a main shopping area here. Now, I don't know what I can show you from a main shopping area with big high street shops. Because to be truthful, those kind of places look the same all across the world. And we go back to the old stuff about, do you like shopping? Well, if you like shopping, there's, there's plenty of shops for you. Well, I think I've covered enough ground in this video. It's been a most pleasant walk around. Athens is a really quite charming area. Now, I know that this isn't a fully comprehensive tour of Athens, but it, it will be ideal, this video, for people who, who really want to visit a capital city, but don't want the hassles of visiting the capital city. Basically, what I've done here, I've, I've found myself a nice little area, which is central to all that I need. I plonked myself down here, found a nice little hotel that's within walking distance of everything. And had a very lethargic, very laid back and very pleasant six days in this city. I found I could walk around day and night without a problem. It's not too expensive. And it's, it's a very pleasant, pleasant place. Those people said three days is enough for Athens. Well, I was here to for three days and decided to stay here for six days. So I'll say thanks for watching, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, a big thanks to those who already have, and remember to press that all important notification bell for latest uploads. I'll see you soon, cheers.